welcome everyone uh, this video is a presentation on uh, the characteristics of the flower uh, the flower is the reproductive structure of a plant and is responsible for uh, producing the next generation in a group of plants called angiosperms. Uh, the term angio means to cover and sperma is seed and so in angiosperms uh, this structure the flower is responsible for reproduction. In fact within the flower there is a structure called the ovary and the ovary is uh, enclosing an ovule the ovule develops into a, a seed and the ovary uh, covering the seed uh, develops into a fruit. Uh, so the seed is covered in a fruit because the ovule is covered in an ovary and uh, this characteristic uh, is possible because of the presence of the flower. Uh, the flower is actually a modified shoot. In a plant, uh, there are different parts. The important parts of a plant consist of uh, roots which are found uh, below the uh, soil. There are roots uh, like this. And uh, there is a stem. The plant possesses a stem above the soil uh, with the leaves, structures called leaves. Uh, so uh, these are the three important parts of a plant. Uh, they are uh, the root that we find down here, uh, the stem uh, throughout the plant and uh, leaf which is responsible for uh, photosynthesis. And it is this portion, uh, the portion that we find uh, through the entire uh, surface of the plant, uh, sorry, through the entire length of the plant called the shoot which possesses leaves uh, that is responsible for getting modified into a flower. So the flower is a uh, modified shoot which is specialized for uh, the process of sexual uh, reproduction. And what happens is that uh, this elongated structure uh, that we find here, this elongated stem, it gets condensed, it becomes a highly uh, condensed structure. So in a stem, the portions where the leaves are formed, uh, these portions are actually uh, called the nodes. Uh, so we find certain areas in the leaf. Uh, like it is shown here, these areas from which leaves are formed. So uh, they represent uh, what we call nodes. And uh, in uh, stem, in the stem, uh, nodes may be found uh, at certain intervals. So leaves may arise from the nodes and uh, they are found at regular intervals. And uh, the distance between uh, the two nodes is what we call the internode. The distance between two nodes is the uh, internode. And what happens is that this elongated structure becomes a highly condensed structure. Uh, and the internodes get condensed and so uh, the flower becomes a very short axis uh, with nodes. And uh, the leaves that we find, vegetative leaves that we find in the uh, plant gets uh, modified into uh, the different floral leaves. So in uh, flowers, uh, there are four floral leaves, the gynoecium at the center, which is the female reproductive structure. Then uh, we find the androecium, which is the male reproductive structure and uh, there is the uh, petals surrounding this uh, which we call the corolla 
and the outermost region uh, consists of sepals uh, which together is called the calyx so these are the four floral words and these uh, four floral words together uh, each one of them are called the floral leaves and all flowers originate from flower buds all flowers that we find in nature they originate from flower buds and so uh, flower is a modified shoot which is specialized for the uh, process of uh, sexual reproduction uh, having short axis uh, with nodes and highly condensed internodes possessing floral leaves and they originate from flower uh, buds uh, so we have seen that the flower uh, is essentially a modified shoot it is a shoot that is modified for the purpose of uh, reproduction and uh, the part of the shoot which gets modified for reproduction uh, becomes the thalamus so every flower has a region called the thalamus and on this thalamus so there is a thalamus which is also called a receptacle so it is also called the uh, receptacle and the floral appendages floral appendages are act, are in effect the floral leaves which we have already seen earlier the floral appendages like the gynoecium then the uh, androecium uh, and uh, corolla as well as the um, calyx all uh, these floral appendages are arranged on the thalamus or receptacle uh, so this is what is a uh, flower so flower is a modified uh, shoot uh, and the shoot becomes a structure called the thalamus or receptacle uh, which is responsible for uh, bearing the other floral parts which are called floral appendages uh, now there are several evidences that we have uh, which show that the uh, flower is a modified shoot uh, in a plant there are vegetative buds and uh, vegetative buds in a plant uh, may be terminal so if this is the shoot uh, they may be terminal at the top so they are they may be terminal or vegetative buds are also found in the axils of leaves that is if this is a leaf it is found within the axils of leaf uh, so we uh, say that they are axillary if they are found in the axils of leaves they are axillary in fact the flower bud also uh, is found in these two positions uh, there are lateral uh, floral sorry there are flower buds which are found near the terminal vegetative bud and flower buds which are found uh, near the axillary vegetative buds or at the same position as that of the axillary vegetative buds uh, then in a plant called agave we find the flower bud getting modified into a uh, vegetative bud the conversion of the flower bud to the vegetative bud can be seen in this plant called agave uh, now the next piece of evidence is the shoot nature of the thalamus so we have already seen what is the thalamus or receptacle uh, and uh, different from the earlier thalamus we have seen in plants like gynandropsis pendafila the thalamus elongates there is an elongation of the thalamus that we see here and the thalamus elongates between the corolla and the stamens and between the stamen and the uh, gynoecium then uh, in rows we see that in some cases through the center of the flower the vegetative a part of the thalamus uh, or uh, the thalamus elongates through the center and it may bear a flower bud or in some cases a uh, leafy uh, shoot is formed uh, so this is what we find in rows in polyalthea we find a condition where although the thalamus is 
flat. As soon as it becomes a fruit, which is an aggregate fruit, the thalamus elongates and fruitlets are found at the tip uh, of the branches of the aggregate uh, fruit. The third piece of evidence is the leafy nature of floral organs and this can be seen first in the uh, arrangement of the floral organs which is similar to that of the leaf. Leaf philotaxy or arrangement uh, can be spiral opposite or whirled and floral organs are arranged usually in cyclic manner in a circle. The different floral organs may be arranged in a circle as can be seen in this floral diagram. Floral diagram is a representation of a, a flower. It shows the number and relative position of the different floral organs. So it may be cyclic like this or it may be uh, spiral, spirally arranged. Uh, in Nymphaceae, uh, this is the lotus family. Uh, in plants like the lotus or water lily, we find transition of one floral organ to another. So here we see the sepals. Uh, gradually each as we move from one sepal to the next changes occur and they start showing characters of the petals they become colorful uh, and more attractive and so slowly the petals then start showing characteristics of stamens with the formation of anthers and gradually uh, the stamens are found which then trans show transition to the carpets uh, now, uh, we also see in some cases, uh, fl flower, uh, the uh, thalamus bearing the floral organs, uh, sorry, the thalamus bearing the different uh, floral organs, uh, start producing uh, no uh, buds in the axils of these floral organs. So, the gynoecium. Uh, the stamen and uh, we have seen uh, out up to this there is the corolla and what happens is that uh, in uh, the axils of this corolla we find secondary flowers may develop they uh, produce uh, buds flower buds in their axils and this develop into secondary bud which is similar to the uh, bud formation in the axils of leaves. Uh, so, uh, this, uh, this is the evidence that flower is a modified uh, shoot. Uh, thank you very much for uh, joining me in this video. Uh, I hope uh, you have been able to uh, learn what I have uh, presented. Thank you very much.